Hey guys, it's Matt, and today is my first day of class. So, I am sitting in traffic right now, uh, waiting to get over to get on the freeway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I woke up uh, nervous, butterflies, I kind of that standard first day of school feeling. Um, my weekend was pretty exhausting. I was doing yard work all weekend, and then yesterday I uh, helped some family members move. Uh, so it wasn't exactly a relaxing weekend, uh, but that's just life. So getting ready uh, to head down. It's about 7.40 in the morning. Uh, my classes start at 8.30 today. Uh, so I am just trying to get there hopefully a little early. We'll see. Hopefully the freeway is not absolutely nuts right now. Uh, it usually is though. This is where I, where I live right near the freeway and it's kind of hard to get on. So, uh, But just wanted to make a on my way in video. Uh, sorry if there's any weird sun angles. Uh, it's just super bright this morning. And it's hard to get away from that. So I'll try to dumb that down when I edit the video. And uh, I will be doing one after class two on my way home. Uh, just to kind of reflect and, and let you guys in on uh, how my first day went. So everybody take care. I hope everyone has an awesome day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. What up guys, it's Matt, and I am driving home right now uh, from my lab, so it was the last day of class this week. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to maybe talk about some uh, reflection on how this first week of classes went. Um, first of all, I guess, let me start with this. I hope everyone else uh, who started classes this week or last, I hope classes are going well for you guys. Uh, and again, thanks for uh, sticking around on this journey. So, Monday, uh, basically what uh, I think you would generally consider uh, housekeeping type stuff, a lot of syllabus, a lot of uh, dress code reminders, um, small talk, program stuff. Uh, Sorry, there's a lot of traffic right here. All right, so, yeah, uh, so Monday, I mean, yeah, you know, you talk about syllabus, you go over the syllabus. Uh, first day wasn't incredibly spectacular, uh, didn't do any sort of lecturing. Um, got to know the our instructors, who were basically the directors for a program a little better. Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, so Tuesday, our first real day, I mean, we, we kind of did get reading assignments for that night. Uh, we got our first modules basically assigned for the, the classes, so um, a, some of the reading was really, really uh, heavy stuff. So basically, uh, for the basic therapeutics, I started reading about various things, different gases, specific temperature, uh, functional O2 type stuff. Um, you know, it's all kind of the, that chemistry physics type stuff. Uh, we weren't reading it super detailed. He didn't really stress that we had to read it like crazy, just kind of skim it uh, just to prepare for the lecture. Um, I kind of went through his, his module guide and started filling in some of the blanks as I was reading. Uh, and then for the intro to respiratory class, uh, we're basically starting with, with history. Um, not necessarily just history of respiratory medicine, but medicine in general. Uh, and we actually got assigned, uh, uh, we're doing a research paper for that one, so we basically have almost the entire semester to write that. So uh, we were each given a, a character from, from history that contributed uh, in some uh, major way to either medicine in general or respiratory medicine. So I got Leonardo da Vinci, a 
pretty easy one. I've already kind of started getting some sources for that and uh, getting that paper started. So then I did some reading too in the first couple of chapters of that. So, and then the last one was, uh, gosh, man, I, sorry, I'm like totally worn out this week because it's been just kind of exhausting. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what class it was. The last part was pulmonary A and P. Uh, so again, just started reading that chapter. But by that point, Monday night, I was freaking exhausted. Um, I was not in the mood to, to continue to read. I, I mean, it was upper uh, upper airway and lower airway was, was the assigned reading. Um, you know, it's it's an A and P book, so if you've ever take an AP, you know, it's just breakdown, except this was specifically uh, the structures that, that were pertinent to the uh, upper and lower respiratory, oral cavity, pharynx, larynx, that kind of stuff, so uh, I kind of fell asleep doing that reading, uh, and again, he didn't even barely finish the upper, uh, upper airway during lecture anyway, so uh, then it gave us time to work on our workbooks a little bit. Uh, so that was the first real day of lecture. Uh, so and it was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it, it, I'm really excited. It just reinforced how excited I am about uh, this program. And then uh, Wednesday we had off, and Thursday today uh, uh, we did our lab. So my lab uh, two to five, and uh, there was no reading assignment for it. We don't have a text necessarily for lab. It kind of goes off the basic therapeutics reading. So the stuff we'd started reading about, which will, later in the chapter as I skimmed, kind of goes into uh, tank calculations, that kind of thing, which is basically what we kind of talked about. And then, you know, again today, for labs, since it was the first day, even though it's literally the same teacher, uh, we went over his syllabus again, and then uh, basically talked about different tanks. We did a few things about looking at illustrations to see what's unsafe about tank storage. Um, different illustrations and uh, general tank safety, um, how to read the labels and that kind of stuff on the tanks. Uh, then uh, we, we actually, you know, he demonstrated he put a regulator on an oxygen tank, showed us just the real basics and then uh, we actually did a, we had a big H tank, so that's one of those big guys. Um, and then two little E-tanks. We had them in their little, uh, you know, carts. And we had to go to the highest point on our campus, uh, not using stairs or elevators, so it's kind of a, a wide walk around campus to get up to the point. And then uh, everybody in my lab, there's about 11 people in my lab group, so we took turns pulling uh, or pushing the, the tanks. Go to the highest point, do a, do a lab class photo, that was just something that that instructor does every year and uh, so someone's going to kind of document it and then come pinning day here in two years uh we'll we'll have all those pictures up to, to kind of reflect back on where we started and where, we're, where we wound up so uh so again yeah i i'm super excited that's all i can really say um i mean if you're at all curious about respiratory uh therapy uh I can tell you that just from the small dose that I've been exposed to it so far, as far as the education side of it goes, uh, I am really excited. Uh, it doesn't look easy. It looks challenging, um, but it looks like an incredibly rewarding career. I mean, just the way our, our teachers basically talk about it, you know, it's, you can tell they're pumped and they're very proud of the program. They're very proud of their students. Um, they pride themselves on a very high success rate um, they don't like to see people fail out so they I kind of talked about how low their attrition was um, in one of my earlier videos and, and as of the the class they just graduated in May uh, they graduated 19 students and 18 of them uh, were credentialed their first try on the uh, MBRC exam so that's pretty good um, so yeah I just uh, I, I can't wait to continue on and, and really get into it. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about though, 
and this is more of a rant. Uh, any, anybody who, who goes to a school or university or whatever whose bookstore is not ran by the school, uh, I don't know how often that happens. Uh, our bookstore is run by Follett. They also run our cafeteria. Um, and I don't know whose fault it is, to be honest with you. I don't know if the professors didn't provide a, an updated book list or whatever. So, uh, so I was so happy and I was bragging about my, my, my book costs, uh, which is still impressive. Uh, apparently, so there is a third edition of, of the Hess, a respiratory care book that I, I bought, um, which is the one we were supposed to get. And I had grabbed uh, a second edition. Um, of course, I got my second edition for 60 bucks, so that's not bad. Um, but it was supposed to be the third. They didn't update it until about two weeks prior to the start of school, which I had not even bothered to look. Why would I? I already had my books. Um, the people who bought it through the bookstore, they actually allowed them to exchange out those books. Uh, so lucky them. I uh, am not so fortunate since I bought it from Amazon. Uh, I didn't, you know, I, I'm sure I could probably go and, and email the vendor and, and see. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not that big of a deal because second and third edition are not really that different. Um, the chapter names are identical. Uh, so it's just page number and chapter orders a little off. I, so far it seems like it's about one chapter shifted so far. Uh, so if the assignment for reading was chapter 56 and 57, for me it was 55, 56. Um, not too hard. As long as I know the name of the chapter, I can I can do the assigned reading. So I'm going to stick with the second edition and see how that goes. Uh, the other thing was... Uh, uh, we didn't need the respiratory notes, that little that little cool waterproof, splash proof or whatever. Um, notepad, it's it's a reference for clinicals, which is what I kind of assumed when I saw it. Uh, I just thought maybe they we would use them in lab or something, maybe maybe under simulation uh, later on the semester. No, wasn't supposed to have it at all. Not a big deal. They said if you got it, it doesn't change, so just keep it. So uh, yeah, double 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 and triple check your your work stuff like I. Kind of stressed about always checking your ISBNs. In this case, uh, beware, uh, you may have the wrong book list. Um, otherwise, guys, that's it. I'm gonna try to get home. Uh, it was an exhausting week, like I said, but it was uh, totally fulfilling. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, the first week, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do weekly updates about topics we've covered and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, we'll kind of see how it goes uh, as the workload increases and I kind of get acclimated to the, the, the environment. Uh, I'll determine what kind of rate I can post videos up for you guys. So anyway guys, uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the videos, again, subscribe, like, comment. Let's talk. How was your guys' first week? Uh, mine was awesome. So anyways guys, take care. Have a great day.